September 16th, Saints Cornelius, Pope, and Saint Cyprian, Bishop. Both of our saints today suffered under the Roman Emperor Dacius. Saint Cornelius was elected to the papal dignity during a time in which both the church and civil society were in great turmoil. About the year 250, Rome was ruled by the Emperor Dacius, who savagely persecuted Christians. He ordered all Christians to deny Christ by offering incense to the idols or through some other pagan ritual. Many Christians refused and were martyred, among them St. Fabian the Pope, while others burnt the sacrificial incense in order to save their own lives. In hopes that Catholicism would fade away, Dacius prevented the election of a new pope. However, he was soon compelled to leave Rome to fight the invading Goths, and in his absence the papal election was held. By the year 251, the church had endured 14 months without a pope when Cornelius was elected, much against his will. After the persecution, the church became divided in two. One side, led by the Roman priest Novatian, believed that those who had stopped practicing Christianity during the persecution could not be accepted back into the church, even if they repented. Under this philosophy, the only way to re-enter the church would be rebaptism. The opposing side, headed by Pope Cornelius, did not believe in the need for rebaptism. Instead, he believed the sinners should only need to show contrition and perform penance to be welcomed back into the church. Novatian resisted Cornelius and declared himself pope, thus becoming history's first anti-pope. Later during the same year, a synod of Western bishops supported Cornelius. One such bishop was our other saint of the day, St. Cyprian. This synod condemned the teaching of Novatian and excommunicated him and his followers. When another persecution began in the year 253 under Emperor Gallius, Pope Cornelius was first exiled and then died as a martyr. Our next saint of today, September 16th, St. Cyprian. Cyprian was an African of noble birth, but of evil life, a pagan and a teacher of rhetoric. In middle life, he was converted to Christianity, and shortly after his baptism was ordained a priest and made bishop of Carthage, notwithstanding his resistance. When the persecution of Dacius broke out, he fled from his episcopal city that he might be better able to minister to the wants of his flock, but returned on occasion of a pestilence. Later on he was banished and saw in a vision his future martyrdom. Being recalled from exile, the sentence of death was pronounced against him, which he received with the words, Thanks be to God. His great desire was to die whilst in the act of preaching the faith of Christ, and he had the consolation of being surrounded at his martyrdom by crowds of his faithful children. He was beheaded on the 14th of September in the year 258 and was buried with great solemnity. Even the pagans respected his memory.